Good morning. Welcome to Focus LCD's technical support. Today we're going to cover how to interface a character LCD with an Arduino Uno. In this example, we'll be, we'll be using a character display that's a 16 by 4. A little background information, Focus LCDs is located in Chandler. We keep inventory of our character and TFT displays in stock and can ship the same day requested by engineers. So first of all, let's get to the items we're going to be needing to interface this Uno with the, with the LCD. First, we need the Arduino Uno itself with the USB cable. Then we'll need a set of male-to-male -male jumper wires used to interface between the Uno and the LCD screen. We'll be building this on a solderless breadboard. In this example, we're going to be using red for power or positive and blue for ground or for the reference frame. Then to adjust the contrast of the LCD, we need a potentiometer. We recommend a 10K ohm potentiometer. And then the 16 by 4 character LCD display itself. This is an LED backlight, STN, wide temperature. After the hardware, we're going to talk about the IDE, which is the Arduino Integrated Development Environment seen here. You also need a PC with a spare USB port to drive the Uno and also to drive the LCD display. Okay, let's get into the IDE. This is a screenshot showing the Arduino Integrated Development Environment. Programs or sketches are developed here. These sketches are based on a derivative of C and C++ programming languages, which makes it easy for the user to uh, read the code and understand what's going on. A huge selection of libraries are also available to reduce your development time. So let's go up to the top menu. There's four or five options up there we're going to look at. File, Edit, Sketch, Tools, and Help. Let's start with the File section. You can open and run sketch examples organized by functions or by component types. In BASIC, you'll find the simplest of sketches, Blink, which turns on and off the onboard LED of the Arduino. The GSM sketch demonstrates how to send and how to receive SMS. The next tool option we're going to look at is on the sketch. The sketch has two tools which we'll use quite frequently, compile and upload. Compile will convert your sketch into machine code that the Arduino will understand, while Upload will compile it and transfer that machine code to the Arduino. We'll be using this later on in the tutorial. The last option or last menu option we're going to look at is the tools. Under tools there are two important utilities called board and port. These are for selecting the appropriate Arduino board and the appropriate port for the PC to Arduino communications or interface. We will go into more detail on that soon, but now let's configure the Arduino itself. So for the Arduino board to work properly, we need to select the correct board and the correct PC COM port for communication. So to do that, we're going to go up to the tools menu which is right here. And from that, we're going to select the board. Then we're going to select the Arduino slash Uno board. After that's done, then we need to select the COM port. And we suggest using COM port 3 for this tutorial. So let's get into what the sketch is. The heart of this sketch is the Liquid Crystal Library. Great for LCDs. It is installed by default with the Arduino IDE. In this section, the library is initialized by entering the Arduino pin number connected to the corresponding LCD. You'll see that here where RS, enable, all the data bits are connected to the corresponding Arduino pins. After that, we have to indicate which type of display this is. This is a 16 by 4. It has 16 columns and 4 rows, which is called out here in the area that's highlighted. Next comes the printing or the sending of the information or text to the LCD itself. So we're going to do a couple different things. First, we're going to have the information scroll to the left. Then we're going to have the data or information or letters or characters scroll to the right. Then after that, we're going to have the information center on the LCD itself. Finally, after that, we're going to do a three second delay before the routine starts for a second time. 
Okay, now let's get into the schematic of how the Adreno connects to the actual LCD. Oh, sorry, before we do that, we gotta compile this. So we go up to Sketch, Upload. Upload will compile and upload the information. Now we're gonna interface the LCD to the Adreno board itself. Pin two is V sub DD, which is your power, plus five volts. They will be getting that power from the USB cable connected to your PC. Pin one on the LCD, which you can see on the top, is VSS. That'll connect to the ground of the Arduino. Pin three is your V sub naught, which is your contrast adjust for the potentiometer. Pin four, five, six is the uh, reset, read, write, and enable. So the reset, which is RS, the enable E, and data bits four through seven, DB four through DB seven are controlled via the sketch. While the read write is grounded, in other words, set to low or connected to the ground, the programming is writing. In other words, the program is writing to the LCD register. It is not reading, it is writing to the LCD register. If the logic is set high, then it's reading from the LCD register. The last thing is to connect the actual LED backlight, which you can see is pin 15 here. Pin 15 is positive and needs to be connected to the plus five volts of the Adreno. Pin 16 being the ground or negative is connected to the ground. Once turned on, this is what you'll see. This 16 by four with yellow green LED backlight. This is a transflective display, which means it could be read at night or it could be read in direct sunlight. These are standard off the shelf displays. Other methods for manipulating the LCD are available. These will be covered in future videos, so stay tuned by clicking on the subscribe button below.